Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another Cup of Love, Cup of Wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what is going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy, so remember to take what resonates, leave it doesn't, flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details are in my description box. You can also email me at aceofcup0 at yahoo.com. So let's see what the overall energy is. What do we need to know? Okay. <clears throat> so the first card I had that came out was the cups. Wish come true, contentment, satisfaction, emotional stability. Someone may not be happy about someone's wishes coming true, emotional stability, having gratitude. We have the Five of Swords here. Someone's holding past resentments. Someone may have a desire to reconcile, make amends. Somebody wants forgiveness after a betrayal. So someone may be upset about someone's wishes coming true after there was, there was a betrayal. Someone wants to make amends. Someone wants forgiveness. <clears throat> Eight of Cups in the upright here. Disappointment, abandonment, withdrawal, escapism, walking away, leaving behind. So there could be some disappointment going on. And someone holding on to some sort of resentment. So someone's holding on to resentment because someone may have chosen not to reconcile, to walk away, to withdraw. Yeah, let's see here. The pentacles in the reverse. The nine of pentacles. Someone has self-worth. They're hustling. Um, someone else could be living beyond their means, obsessed with work, false success. So someone could put their self-worth in money or their success. And they're living beyond their means. And you chose to walk away from them. And now there's disappointment, regret. This person is really upset about things not going their way. They're living beyond their means. They may need, like this person may be financially codependent on another person. So they may have been looking to reconcile with somebody because they were financially codependent. <clears throat> we have the hermit in the reverse. So someone could be in isolation. Someone has chosen to withdraw. Um, you know, you could be at a distance from somebody. So you could have chosen to walk away. Or this person withdrew. They could have been emotionally withdrawn or isolated. So that could be why you chose to walk away from them. Or this person may have been in isolation. Because they're having negative self-feelings. Like someone is struggling like with depression. And we have the Ten of Swords. A painful ending. Deep wound. Betrayal. Lost crisis, failure, collapse. So there's a permanent ending here. So you could have chosen to remain in isolation, withdraw. You may not be lonely, but this person is. They lost their way because they were looking for self-worth self in the wrong places. After they betrayed you, there's a permanent ending here. And we have the Page of Cups. <clears throat> Creative opportunities, intuitive messages. So you could get intuitive messages here. You could be in for a happy surprise. Um, you know, someone could be admiring you. And then we have the King of Swords in the upright. Someone's making head over heart decisions. They're very disciplined, truthful, honest, mental clarity, authority. So this could be somebody in authority admiring a divine feminine. Or this could be a masculine who is just, um, you know, maybe um, you're in a position of authority. If you're this masculine, if you're this King of Swords energy, you're very disciplined. And you could be admiring some someone's admiring someone else's discipline. <clears throat> because you chose to walk away. You chose self-love. There was a financial imbalance here. So this person has been struggling financially since you walked away from them. So you know, whatever decision they made to betray you, there were some sort of consequences because you're seen as someone who was held in high honor and they lost their financial stability. So this person lost their financial stability after a betrayal. These came out sideways. Someone could be coming towards you with a message of truth, speaking a truth about an offer that you've been waiting for. 
and it could be just a message of the truth. Like you could have been waiting for someone to speak a truth or someone wants to send you a message of truth. And it could be about how much they admire you and your strength and your courage and your discipline. There's a painful permanent ending for you and whoever this person is that you chose not to reconcile with. <clears throat> and someone may be admiring your strength about not taking somebody back. A toxic relationship. Something is moving. Someone could be coming towards you. Chariot, there's movement happening for someone who is held in high honor. Someone got left out in the cold because they were not compassionate. But I feel like if you look at these in the reverse, there was a financial imbalance and someone lost their financial stability um, because they left someone out in the cold and it could have been a mother figure, a parental figure because they were not compassionate. So because someone was not compassionate towards somebody else and they left them out in the cold and left them to struggle, um, something is being balanced out and it has to do with their finances and now they lost their financial stability. So if you suffered financial stability <clears throat> when you were with this person, they suffered it after you walked away. Whether you know it or not, but they're hiding it. They could be hiding it. They may not want you to know about this. Something is moving for you who who's in the upright. And it could be if you're a divine feminine, this king of swords coming towards you out of admiration. This person that you walked away from holds contempt for you. Like this person's not moving on to calmer waters. Whoever you walked away from, they haven't been able to move on to calmer waters since you parted ways. Because of what they did to a divine feminine energy or whoever is whatever they did this to because they were hiding something, keeping secrets. They were trying to keep something in the dark. It could be in hermit mode, spending time in isolation. Yet, like I said, you have strength, courage, and perseverance. They were also trying to keep it hidden that they were meeting up with somebody. They were keeping secrets. They were trying to keep a secret hidden. Scorpio energy could be significant, but they're not moving on to calmer waters and they're trying, they could be trying to keep that a secret that their life fell apart after you walked away. That they lost everything, especially financially, after you separated. Yeah, you're unbothered. You could be resting, healing. You could be at a crossroads. You may have a decision to make. Or a decision that you made when you were at a crossroads is bringing you that sweet life, rest, relaxation, happy, happy memories, happy times. So happy times are ahead for you. Success. I just heard success. And this king of wands is seeing that. Or there's a king of wands that's experiencing this. Someone in a leadership position. <clears throat> but someone brought themselves under judgment here. But there is someone who is admiring another person. This king of wands. It could be a king of wands that's admiring a king of swords. So, I mean, I could, I have to say it. It could be a same-sex thing. Or it could be two people in their masculine energies. Uh, but there was an unofficial person in the reverse who placed themselves under judgment because they were tempted by the low-hanging fruit. But there's a Queen of Pentacles here that is in their Ten of Pentacles and it's being brought to light. A message of truth. 
This, the King of Wands could also be the person that you walked away from because you could be in your King of Swords energy, whether you're masculine or feminine. You could be in your masculine energy and you could be in your King of Swords energy and this could be who walked away from you because the judgment in the reverse came after that. This person was unofficial. They were easily tempted. They fell for the low-hanging fruit. And then if you're the Divine Feminine here, you're in your Ten of Pentacles energy and it's being brought to light. Someone's getting a message of truth that you're good. Your financial security and your stability, you're good. Meanwhile, someone lost their financial stability because they caused a heartbreak, heartbreaking situation for you. You could be even getting a message that's going to be happy, that's going to be a happy cause for celebration. Queen of Swords. Like I said, you could be in your Swords energy. You could be balanced between your masculine and feminine, so you're going to get some happy news, possibly about your money or finances. There's also there's the, there's a Queen of Swords here and a Queen of Pentacles that's doing really well. So they could be two different feminines or they could be the same feminine. Now there's a Queen of Swords here that's going to be celebrating, that's going to be happy. And there's a Queen of Pentacles here that's going to be very well financially. Yeah, someone didn't get whatever recognition they thought they were going to get. That's why they suffered some sort of financial loss, financial instability. They were looking to get some sort of award or accolade. They thought they were going to get something and they got the message communication there's communication that they're, they're not going to win they didn't get something they didn't win so yeah there's a competition going on in a new cycle so someone's competing with someone in a new cycle and it could be the queen of swords competing with the queen of pentacles for someone or for something or there's going to be a competition with this king of wands and somebody else in this new cycle so Someone's headed into a new cycle here and there's going to be some sort of competition or someone's put someone in a competition. Someone's trying to compete with another person. Don't tell me it's going to be a competition. So this King of Wands maybe has uh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords in a competition. Or thinks that they're competing over this person. Check in. I want to catch up to make sure everything is going well. So this King of Wands could be playing. She's like, oh, I just want to check on you. See how things are going. But there, there's a competition. This person may want someone to be in a competition. Or to compete for their attention or their affection. And both of these females are doing fairly well. Both of these feminine energies are okay. Plans in the reverse. Can we make plans to get together soon? So there was some plans that were canceled. Someone's like, hey, let's check. I'm checking in. See how you're doing. Let's get together. And there was some sort of can uh, plans that were canceled. Maybe because someone, one of these feminines, somebody found out there was competition going on. Or that they were being forced to compete with someone for someone's attention. And they're like, no. Like, if you're a divine femme, you're, you, don't, you don't deal with that shit. You're just like, no. So, someone's plans got canceled because there was a competition. And this divine feminine, and divine feminine energy was like, no, I'm good. I can't let go of you. I cry at night. So this person said that they were missing you, that they can't stop thinking about you, they can't let you go. But they wanted to check in, but they still had you in a competition with somebody else. They may have said that they were crying at night, but it's in the reverse, so it doesn't look like they really were. But, I mean, you're still on their mind. You're still on this person's mind. That part may be true, but this person would be a karmic energy because <clears throat> they're lying. And that, But that may be why, why you canceled plans with this person. Because they acted like they were stuck on you or something. And that they were sad that you weren't being with them. Hanging, I heard hanging out with them. Um, so that could be significant. That you weren't giving them any time, money, energy, whatever. Um, but I feel like it was more like time or, or even um, sexual relations, you know. This person could have been just trying to get in your pants. And maybe you knew that. So maybe that's why you cut something off. I want to be different is in the reverse here. This person didn't want to be different. They didn't change. So maybe they acted like something was different or that their cir their circumstances or situation changed. Maybe the fact that they weren't dealing with somebody else 
but they were not being honest about it because there's a competition between these two feminines because of this king of wands so that could be what's about to happen or what's going on <clears throat> But whoever's in the divine upright here, you're in your sword's energy. And it, you know, it could be the same female, but someone someone has another person person in competition here. And there's two feminines for sure that came out. So there's someone here who's definitely in a competition with someone else. Yep, okay. Now I see. It is a girl fight. These are two different fem feminines. So there was a girl fight or somebody wanted two women to be fighting over them. Arguments, physical fight, war, competing. So there was a competition. Someone was trying to compete with another person. So someone's running from someone's broke ass. And they're trying to dirt dig. They're looking for dirt on you. Someone's looking for dirt on you. Maybe because you ran away from them. You, you chose not to deal with them because they put you in a cat fight. They, they could have gotten into a fight with someone that was competing with you, whether you knew it or not. Either the person <clears throat> that this person had you in competition with is dirt digging, <clears throat> or the person you ran away from this broke ass is dirt digging. And it came right out after broke ass, so I'm guessing it's the one who needs money who's trying to dirt dig on you to find out what you got going on. Especially if they need money. <clears throat> Daydreaming, head in the clouds, delusion, hopes and dreams. So when you were with this person or when you were dealing with this person, this person may have thought you were delusional. They could have told you, you know, that you're not going to achieve your hopes and dreams. You need to get your head out of the clouds. You need to focus on reality. So this person may not have liked what you did. Maybe for work or for, for side activities. Whatever the case is. Suffering in silence. Unspoken desires. Real feelings. Broken dreams. They could have. You could have been suffering in silence. Or this person was. Um, because you had real feelings for this person. And they just wanted to tear you down. Broken dreams. This person may feel. Like their dreams are broken or shattered. Because they were in a delusion. And they had their head in the clouds. And they were too busy worried about. You know, having two females, having, you know, people fighting over them instead of doing what they needed to do. Now they feel like they blew it because you walked away. And there's a ten of swords here, so there's a permanent ending with this. heard unspoken requests so someone could be in church and you know how when people do like prayer requests and stuff like um that's what i'm getting is someone could have went to church and had an unspoken prayer request and it was about you so someone could be religious that could be that hierophant energy in the reverse so someone could have been like a religious figure or something maybe they're a church goer and I heard unspoken requests. So somebody requested prayer for you. So they could have run away from you. Or this is because you ran away from them. They were running away from a commitment. And so you're and you're running away from a broke ass who wants to just use you and put you in competitions. And you're not playing around. You're not dealing with this person. So you could have found out about this betrayal or you're going to. <clears throat> Someone may have been forced into this new cycle because they found out about this competition as well. So if you've been cheated on before, this person has cheated on you before, if you're a divine femme, and this masculine had you in competition with another female, this could have been a test 
see if you were going to keep putting up with it, whether it was them specifically that was unfaithful and betrayed you before, or if it was somebody else. Someone is really fucked up over you. But you could have run away from someone because someone was a psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. So you could have run away from someone because they wouldn't let go. They could have been dealing with a crazy ex. The person they had you in competition with could have been their crazy ex. Maybe because they had money, so they could have maybe stayed attached to this Queen of Pentacles because they had money. If you're in your Queen of Swords energy, or it could be the other way around, wherever you are in this story, the situation, take it how it resonates to you specifically. And if it doesn't, let it go. Mm, someone thought they got their wish fulfillment. Someone could have gotten pregnant with a love child. So someone thought that they were going to get their wishes fulfilled, this crazy ex. So this crazy ex could have gotten pregnant with a love child. This masculine could have gotten this person pregnant. And if you're the queen of swords, you could have found out about this. And that's why you ran away. So you could have run away from this person because you found out about a love child they had with their secret lover. And, and I hate to say this, but I get the feeling that this masculine may have knocked this person up intentionally if this feminine had money, this queen of pentacles. So this masculine, this king of wands, could have intentionally impregnated this female because he thought he was going to get money from her. It could be the other way around. So take it how it applies. Uh, but someone, one of them, Thought they were going to get money from the other. And I kind of feel like it was the masculine that thought they were going to get some sort of financial payday off of this wealthy feminine. Because I feel like this masculine's broke. I feel like the masculine's the one who's broke. You're fake busy. Divine feminine. Queen of swords. You're fake busy because you're happy single. So you're good. You moved on. You're good. Hustling. Slaying. You know. You're disciplined, living life. You're good. And you're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. You already are fine. So whoever you are, you're single already. And someone's feeling like shit because they fucked up. They may not have gotten the money they thought they were going to get from having a child with this Queen of Pentacles. So someone thought they were going to get money off of the other person, whether it was the masculine or the feminine, whatever the case. Someone thought they were going to get money from somebody else. But feeling like shit because not only did they not get the money... Um, they could have lost this person and they definitely lost you because you walked away and you're fake busy. Like you're just, you're just over it. Like you're not dealing with the, this person, whether they had a love child with this person or they could have even hid this love child. They could have even had this love child before you even got together with this person, but they hid it from you. And for some of you, that's what hurts the most is that they hid it from you because this person was being shady by hiding a love child. Or having a love child. There, there's something shady surrounding this love child. The intent, the purposes, and the fact that this child even existed. Like someone was trying to hide a child's existence. Divine Feminine, you are happy single. So you are the single person in this situation. And someone feels like shit over you. Truth, discovery, awakening. Because you discovered the truth. Divine Feminine, so you discovered the truth about this karmic person. This divine masculine who's in the reverse. They didn't go through an awakening. They didn't want the truth being discovered. So this divine masculine's in the reverse. This is the king of wands energy. So even though he came out in the upright, that's because he's still in your energy. He's not actually an upstanding person. He's in his player energy still. He doesn't want to be different. He doesn't want to change. But he's feeling fucked up over you. But he doesn't want to change his ways. He was definitely being shady about this love child that he had. You could have even found out he was trying to get you pregnant to get you trapped and stuck. Maybe he was trying to get both of you. Oh, he could have been trying to get both of you pregnant at the same time. But someone may have been on birth control or may have been fixed. Like maybe someone's tubes are tight or something like that or burned, whatever they do with them. Um, 
an implant. I just heard an implant could be significant. Someone may have an implant that would stop them from getting pregnant. This masculine may not have known it, or maybe they were try, you know, trying anyway. An IUD. If you're a feminine, this masculine could have tried to talk you out of getting your IUD removed so that you would get pregnant. <clears throat> he said he would stick around. He would always be there for you. Even if you weren't married. Could have even tried to talk you into getting married so that you would have a child with him. So that he could get money from you. It could also be that he tried and failed. Especially if whatever you had done was permanent. And then he ended up getting with his queen of pentacles and got her pregnant. Someone may be, I don't, want, I don't want this to come out wrong, but someone may not be able to get pregnant because they're too old. They went through menopause or something like that. So someone could be an older feminine as well. Doesn't have to be, but for someone's case, that may be true. Take a closer dive in here. Actually, I meant to grab my Garfield cards. So there's something shocking, something surprising going on. Someone may be shocked to find out about this love child because someone hid it so well. Flipped over. Someone shocked to fly, find out that someone was a flying monkey or sent a flying monkey. <clears throat> There's something shocking about this flying monkey trying to take a child. Oh, that's just what I heard when I saw the flying monkey. Someone's like, someone's getting a message of concern that someone tried to take a child or take something that did not belong to them. Even if this masculine got this feminine pregnant, like that's what this person tried to do. Like there's something shocking about what this person did. They, they never loved this person. Like someone was only looking for a payday, but they're really fucked up over this queen of swords. So even though this person got the queen of pentacles possibly pregnant, Someone who is financially well off, you know, wealthy feminine energy. Um, there's something shocking being revealed about the, what this person even did. That they were disloyal. That they, they betrayed someone with a feminine. Like there was a betrayal with a feminine. Or there was a feminine that, that betrayed someone here. This masculine is sad. So this masculine feels like they they feel betrayed because you chose to walk away and move on with your life after you found out what they did. Because they're trying to act like they didn't love this Queen of Pentacles. It was just about maybe sex and money or something. Or they acted like they weren't dealing with this person still. Now they're sad because they betrayed you with this feminine. <clears throat> And someone's getting in the message that your luck is improving. Something is working out for you. And this masculine is sad about it. So there was a betrayal to this feminine. To a divine feminine. But this masculine feels like they're betrayed. They got betrayed by some a feminine as well. Because of the secrets they kept. <clears throat> so this masculine, because of the secrets they kept. The moon in the reverse. There's barriers. This person's stuck. 
because you do have people that want to be compassionate towards you and luck is on your side and this person celebrated too soon. They're sad about some sort of heartbreak. So they could they could have celebrated when they thought they caused you heartbreak and they were going to win or gain something from it. Whether you're the Queen of Pentacles or the you know Queen of Swords, whatever wherever you are in this, this person is masculine energy. Um, you know they celebrated when they thought that you were sad and heartbroken. You know when they thought that they could keep their secrets hidden. Whether it's a love child, whether it's you know the infidelity itself, but your luck is improving and people are compassionate towards you. And this person could be trying to stop this other people from being compassionate towards you and trying to place barriers in your path. But there's barriers for you being compassionate towards this person because of what they did to you that was so heartbreaking. So the barrier here is, you know, your luck is going up. They're feeling fucked up over you. But, you know, the barrier to you being compassionate towards them is because they celebrated causing heartbreak for you. And they didn't care that they upset you, made you sad, caused you, you know, pain, sadness, loss, that you felt rejection, whatever the case. You've gone through a transformation from like Empress to High Priestess energy here. And there's a group of people here celebrating with you. You have a community, a group of people, soul tribe, collective, whatever the case is, friends, family, community. There are people celebrating with you. There was definitely a third-party situation that caused this heartbreak. So there's third-party situation that caused this heartbreak, which could have led to this love child coming to be. And now someone's pissed. Now someone's mad that people are celebrating you, that you have someone that may want to be loyal to you. You know, this unsuccessful relationship. There was something shocking about this unsuccessful unsuccessful relationship. And someone's pissed that someone wants to be loyal to you. And you're getting your wishes fulfilled. Your desires are coming true. <clears throat> but somebody got the message or got some sort of message that was shocking that um, some sort of relationship is not going to work out. So they could have been betrayed by the feminine that they put you in a third party with. They got the heartbreaking news. Maybe they lost a child. They could have had a miscarriage or something like that. Um, or maybe someone was fake pregnant or, um, you know, maybe they thought they were and they weren't. Um, or they just got the news that they weren't going to get some sort of money. But I feel like this other feminine that they put you in a third party situation with, they walked away from them. And then they see the divine femme getting their wishes and deepest desires fulfilled. And now they're in deep regret and they know they screwed up. Yeah, they may have wanted to be taken care of, but they weren't trying to take care of you. They wanted someone to take care of them, especially financially, it seems. Like, this person is not good with money at all. That's why you ran so hard after the Queen of Pentacles. And this one's not even supposed to be in this deck. The Two of Pentacles, so now if someone's juggling money and finances. This person's trying, trying to juggle two people. Still trying, still trying. <clears throat> but someone here is an official person where it's that hierophant energy. So that could be this religious person, this hierophant who wanted to be taken care of, but they're juggling the money or people or both. Yeah, they didn't get the clean slate they thought they were going to get. And someone is just really disgusted because you're getting your wishes fulfilled. You're like Susie Homemaker. You know, you take care of your home, your family, you handle your business. And you could be disgusted by this person and what they're trying to do because you see them for who they are, what they are. One of the sad realities of life is laundry always cooled off. So something cooled down. Your involvement with this person has cooled off. Like you're not passionate about this person because they were an ass. They made an ass out of themselves. They are an ass. And you let them prove it. You're just like, okay. And you moved on. Like, you didn't stick around to find out, like, part two, whatever they got going on. You're like, okay, say, say no more. I'm, I'm out. And this person didn't expect it at all. They did not expect you to walk away. <clears throat> Not in the least. 
But since I had the peanuts card come out, now I'm going to get those out. So there's a partnership, dancing partners. So there's a partnership, someone's in a partnership. And they're trying to partner up with you, but they're juggling. They're driving by your house, driving towards you, coming towards you. <clears throat> so they're trying to juggle you, but they want to come towards you. They want to see you, but they're in a relationship with someone. For some of you, they already tried and you wouldn't open the door. You wouldn't see them. You may have told them that you didn't want to see them, but so they're driving by their house, by your house. Someone's hurt and they're pouting. So this could be the person that they're in a partnership with that they found out about this. They could know that they're driving by your house, that they're still keeping up on you, that they have feelings for you. Oh. This person's wife, queen of wands, energy. Oh man, this person's pouting, they're hurt. So this person married someone? Wow. So they could have married this Queen of Pentacles and thought that if they get a divorce from them or something, they could be just staying with this person for money. You know, it's been coming out that someone lied about being married or could have been di being dishonest about being married. <clears throat> They're married. This King of Wands is married to a Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands is pissed off. They're hurt. They're upset and pouting. Because this person won't let you go. And they could be driving to your house. Driving by your house. Still checking up on you. Yeah. Someone's spell work backfired. So somebody could have been doing some spell work. And it all backfired. Whatever plans they had. It's like the opposite happened. Like, if this was a well-thought-out plan, sabotage, so someone's spell work to sabotage another person, it, it didn't work. <clears throat> I found it again with you. Proceed with caution. So this person was lying. You should have proceeded with caution within the last one to two weeks. Or someone needed to proceed with caution because now someone's out for revenge. You were scammed by thieves. So someone was a thief when they said they found it again with you. They loved you. They lied. They were trying to steal something from you. Time, money, energy. This could even be two divine feminines. Okay? Because I, I honestly don't feel like there's any necessary malice from either of the feminines. Someone's out for revenge, though, and they're trying to sabotage another person with spell work, whether it's legit spell work or just, you know, being a dumbass, doing stupid shit. And someone thought they were going to steal something, and it didn't work. Yeah, that big package WAP energy in the reverse, so this person, it's that King of Wands energy. They had no shame. This thief had no shame. They were unapologetic. They racked up spiritual karmic debt when they said that you have a connection. Now this person is anxious about the truth coming out, telling the truth to good cops, law officials, so they could have done something illegal. Don't believe what you hear. They don't want this getting out. <clears throat> I feel butterflies near you. So they're trying to keep a relationship a secret. They don't want something getting out, escaping. But like the person that they were dealing with, someone's hurt by this though. And I feel like it's the other feminine, like their wife, whoever they're married to. Don't tell me there's three different women here. And it could be. It could be this masculine was juggling two females and then married someone else altogether. And their wife could be hurt and upset to find out that this masculine was juggling two different females. And one of them got pregnant. Yeah, that wad big package energy that King of Wands using his wand where he shouldn't have to make people fall in love with him, get people pregnant, trap them up. Hush money could be significant.
extortion. Someone could be getting extorted to keep their mouth shut. What is holding you back? The truth, anxious. What's holding you back? Someone, the truth being exposed is holding someone back. Someone's terrified of the truth coming out. And in some cases, it could be this masculine, this married man who is dealing with two other females. Someone who doesn't have a clue what is going on. A, B, C, or D could be significant in January and August. Maybe someone didn't have a clue. They could be finding out soon. So something could have been happening or happened in January and August. And this person didn't have a clue. Yeah, something's a dog and pony show. Good things come to those who wait. So someone did something impatiently in January. Someone in this mess did something impatiently. Something's a dog and pony show with A, B, C, or D in August. Someone doesn't have a clue. So someone doesn't have a clue that something was all for show. It was all fake. Someone could have said that they were getting a divorce, separation, something like that. Someone could have even moved out. Pretended like they were getting a divorce, something like that. It was for show. They did something impatiently. They could have moved someone back in when they were trying to take a child or steal a child. That could be significant. They could have been trying to get custody of this child for money. Something happened way, way too quickly. And something was just for show. Yeah, someone was yanking your chain. <clears throat> Someone's a liar. They were yanking your chain. They did something impatiently. And, you know, you just accepted it. It is what it is. And you just moved on with your life. This person was your op. They played for the other team. They pretended to be your friend. They were yanking your chain the whole time. They're not leveling up. Like stealing candy from a baby by hook or crook. So this person was trying to steal this from you. But this is a blessing in disguise. This person didn't love you. Or there was somebody that, you know, or they didn't love the person that they were with. But they were yanking your chain trying to steal something from you. Because they didn't love you. If you're the queen of pentacles, if you're the divine femme, like, I'm telling you, I feel like there's two divine feminines in this. And I don't know how the fuck that's possible. Because usually one of them shady as fuck. But I feel like there's two divine feminines. And one was just used strictly for money and to have a baby. And someone's trying to take a child from them. There's no love there. Someone was just yanking your chain. And then there's like this queen of swords energy that this person is still trying to juggle with. And they're still, they could be married or married someone else, this queen of wands. And they're still trying to juggle you with someone else. So if you're the queen of swords, if you're the divine femme queen of swords, this person's still trying to juggle you with their wife, this queen of wands. After they already did all this shit with you and the queen of pentacles. It's like they're trying to repeat history again. It's like they're trying to do the same shit different day. And they missed the boat on that one because you didn't fall for it. Not again. I just heard not again. I don't fucking think so. Not again. You didn't fall for it again. Someone didn't want to see the light because something was too good to be true. They Their plans were not well thought out. Uh, maybe it looked good on paper, but they didn't want to see the light. They thought something was too good to be true. Maybe that you were too good to be true. That, you know, you're not who you say you are. Like, you're not in your Queen of Swords energy. Or, you know, maybe you don't have the money you say you do. Whatever. I feel like... I don't feel like that applies to the Queen of Pentacles. Because I feel like, you you know, the Queen of Pentacles has some money. Otherwise, this person wouldn't have tried to trap you with a baby. Um, Aries, look before you leap. Or an Aries should have looked before they left. So however that applies. Because someone's not moving full steam ahead. Someone's trying to control another person. So look before you leap involving an Aries. Whether you are an Aries or this involves an Aries. Because someone's just trying to control someone. But you learned your lesson. Okay. Whether this is an Aries trying to control you. Or you learned your lesson regarding this Aries. So however it applies. You learned. Yeah, this person, once again, is not getting a clean slate and they're not moving on to calmer waters. Go with the flow in the reverse clean slate. So someone's not moving on to calmer waters. They didn't get the beginning they thought they were going to get. 
they didn't get to take whatever they thought they were going to get. So this thief didn't get what they wanted either. Something could be about to explode because someone is not sincere. Sincere is in the reverse. And you are the real deal. You are the real McCoy. This person was just a fair weather friend on a Wednesday. And you're happy. And this person's barking up the wrong tree because this is Ten of Swords. Um, you know, dead as a doornail. Permanent ending. Because they were not sharp. They thought they were sharp as a tack. They thought they were smarter than you. But you've been avoiding this person like a plague. And a whole can of worms was about to be open. They want you to feel like they're your long lost love, but they're not. They want you to be missing them. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So they think that since they've been away from you for a while that you've been missing them this whole time. <laughs> uh, Taurus. Karma is a bitch in the reverse because the cat got let out of the bag. And time is of the essence. So something needed to be done in a timely manner. <clears throat> but this person left someone stewing for far too long. Two peas in a pod on a Sunday in court. So someone has, you know, they didn't get their wake-up call, a Gemini. And this brought a tower moment. This ivory tower. Back to square one. And you're moving on. Happy as a clam. Something significant is going to be happening in the next 24 hours. And someone's about to find out their back's up against the wall. It's over. It's over. All right. Person, place, or thing. K could be significant. P. N. Campin could be significant. D. Compound. A compound could be significant. H. U. I. L. And F. H-U-I-L-F-K-P-N-D. I hope this helps. Have a good day.